friends a very warm welcome hope you're doing good i'm back with my next jquery tutorial is the tutorial number eight in the last jquery tutorial we learned about jquery ajax in this tutorial we will learn about jquery utilities and the various jquery utility methods available what are jquery utilities jquery provides several utility methods that are helpful in completing the desired programming tasks. Example, suppose I have a string, hello, with spaces around it, but I need the text hello without any spaces on its left or right, then I can use trim jQuery utility to remove any such spaces. The first jQuery utility method is Trim. Trim is used to remove leading and trailing white spaces. Let's see how this method is useful. This is my code. This is how my page looks. Now what I am doing is uh, on the click of my button, utility button, that's this button. I want to change the value of a form field and input field. I will change the value of this input field. Currently its value is utility. I want to change it to this text. A hello with trailing spaces. Now let's see how we do it. Now when I click here, you can see hello has spaces around it. Suppose I do not want any space around hello. Then I will have to use the trim utility. Now, save it, go to the browser, and refresh it. When I click here, you can see that there are no spaces around hello. The next jQuery utility method is each. Each is used to iterate over arrays and objects. I create an array, let's name it test array. I add in some values, jQuery, say NHS. Yes. So this is my array and I will create an object as well, test object. Here I have my two, uh, one test object and one test array. I want to iterate over them. Let's see how we do it. I have a list here. I will add 
from list elements to this unordered list and that list would comprise of these elements inside the object and the array so first I need to select this unordered list I select it I need to enclose this inside uh, each utility method each here goes the name of the array then the second parameter will be a function inside it index and the value so here I will create a list here index then value this inside of my each function body Save it and I go to my country. I refresh it. And when I click this button, I will see that I'll have a list in front of me that would have all the elements inside the array. There you see. At the index 0, I have jQuery value. At the index 1, I have AngularJS value. And 2, JavaScript, 3, Node.js. You can see at 0, it's jQuery. 1, it's AngularJS. 2, JavaScript, 3, Node.js. Similarly, I can iterate for an object. Copy it. Replace this and give it a mean for the key here. Key. Key. Save it. I'm going to my browser and refresh it. And when I click it, there I can see all the elements of my object are shown here. Key tech one I have value jQuery tech two AngularJS tech three JavaScript tech four Node.js. You can see here my object has these values. They are correctly shown in the browser. The next method is in array method. In array is used to return a values index in an array or minus one if the value is not in the array.
I suppose I need to show the index of this element of array. Its index is 0, 1, 2. So JavaScript's index is 2. I need to show an alert that shows the index of JavaScript. How do I do it? I remove all this. Now, call There goes the value. I need to find the index for it's JavaScript. And there goes the name of my error. I need to show it in an alert. In array takes two parameters. The first parameter is the value for which we need to find the index. The second is the name of the array which has this value. I go to my browser, I refresh it. When I click it, I see two here, which is the index of JavaScript in the array. The next method is the extend method. Extend is used to change the properties of the first object using the properties of subsequent objects. Let's see how it works. Now I will require another object. Create another object. Test editor 2. Let's say I want to change the value for key tech 3 to do so. I take a key tech 3 and give it a value. Say any. Say back move. Now Extend object test object using test object two. That is, I will change the value for tech three key in a test object to a value that will come from test object two. Let's see how we have to do it. Name of the first object and then the second parameter is the name of the second object now here I don't need this I will require for e uh, each utility method again to iterate over the object. So here I have my each utility method to iterate over test object. I save it. I go to my browser. I refresh it. Look here, I see that it iterates over the te test object and has all the values in it. But you can see the value for tech 3 key has been changed to back room. Here you can see. So that's how extend method is useful 
you can change the value for a key in one object using object two and it can be done with the help of extend utility method now the next utility method is the proxy method proxy is used to return a function that will always run in the provided scope that is it relates a general function to a specific object now let's see how proxy utility method can be used I do not need these objects uh, these objects and arrays so I remove them I do not need this extend method and this to I don't need this each method I need to create a new function say test function here I want to show an alert that says that displays the current object current element I'll use this keyword for it now I'll use proxy functions so when I click this utility button I will call test function the test function will alert the current element so let's see what we see in the alert I go to the browser and refresh it when I click it I see object window that's the entire window so this is the current fo focused element now when I replace test function with proxy function and save it I go to my browser and refresh it now when I click it, I see object, object, that is my function, test function is now related to test object 2 and that's this object. So it shows object here. What proxy does is it relates a function with another object and then that function works in that scope. So proxy utility method is a really useful method. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please subscribe like and comment until then enjoy and practice more thank you